Right, we're here with uh, Marek Marszewski from uh, TCL. Marek, you have a nice setup here with uh, some uh, LCD screens without the LCD. You only show the backlight. Can you take us through it? Yes, uh, so uh, thank you, Alden, that you come here uh, to, Orso, to Orso for our event. And uh, here we demonstrate uh, how uh, backlight works uh, in TVs and uh, how mini LED is uh, changing the way uh, we can uh, drive uh, dynamic range and peak brightness in uh, products. So let's start uh, from global dimming. Most of TVs use uh, uh, the solution which is called global dimming. In global dimming, you see we have, uh, I think, around 40 something uh, white LEDs. And uh, then we control globally the brightness uh, of uh, the picture, which means uh, we can only display dynamic range of the panel. So what panel can do, uh, we can uh, display. And then if we want to display more darker picture, we cannot display at the same time very bright areas. Okay, so you can only control the brightness of the all the LEDs at the same time. Globally, yes. So yes. then uh, all entry TVs uh, are based on this uh, principle. And uh, here, of course, uh, we remove LCD panel. LCD panel transparency is around 5%. So we have uh, here po polycarbonate uh, with uh, dimming film, and uh, we more or less uh, here we have around 90% uh, 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 dimming uh, to be more or less in line with uh, LCD panel. Then we do the next step. It is full array local dimming. Here we use example of uh, a 55 inch TV set with uh, 140 dimming zones. So nice. you see that uh, you start to recognize uh, how uh, the zone is controlled. And then we have uh, more uh, options uh, to have uh, one part dark, another part uh, much brighter, and uh, to have much higher dynamic range uh, on the screen. Uh, but uh, still, you see that it looks like kind of shadows. Uh, shadows are moving. So uh, what we can do to have even better control of dynamic range and also be able to achieve more than 1,000 nits uh, in a peak without uh, blooming, uh, we need more zones. So uh, with the example of this TV set, this is uh, uh, last year uh, 65 inch uh, C835. Uh, in this TV set, we have 288 dimming zones. Uh, for each zone, we have four LEDs. And mini LED means that you see uh, these LEDs are distributed equally. Uh, so, and then if you are far, so you see more shapes on the screen. Uh, so we can more precisely control brightness and dynamic range. But still, there are four LEDs uh, which light up or dim uh, together. Four controls, four LEDs at the same time. Yes, four okay. LEDs at the same time. Uh, so the next uh, step we did this year with uh, 845. So we have the same backlight structure. You see that uh, we have same number of LEDs, uh, but uh, we double number of zones. Uh, so uh, we have vertically more zones. So we have two LEDs uh, uh, vertically per zone. Uh, also, another improvement we did that uh, last year we used single chip, means that uh, you have only a uh, single source of the light. But this year we have dual chip LEDs, so if you come very close, you will see that there are two sources of the light. On top of this, uh, for each LED, we have three PN junctions, and PN junction is, uh, in fact, the source of the light in LEDs. So by doing this, uh, we have significant improvement uh, in terms of peak brightness and also average brightness, still keeping uh, the same power efficiency, uh, so uh, the system is uh, more efficient. Here we have reference screen, so then that's why you can recognize uh, what we display on the TV sets. Uh, and uh, then we move to our X95 uh, product, uh, which is here. Uh, here we have the demo also with 5,000 dimming zones. So uh, you see that there are uh, 5,184 LEDs. Each LED is uh, controlled uh, separately. So there are no two or four or more LEDs per zone. Uh, we have a very specific design of the lens to ensure that uh, the light is distributed correctly. And uh, then we have a single chip, but six PN junctions. 
So mm. in reality, we can say these are 5,000, more than 5,000 times six, so uh, like 30,000 uh, of light uh, sources. And here with 5,000 dimming zones, you see that you can perfectly recognize shapes yeah. because uh, the resolution is uh, uh, 54 uh, uh, rows by 96 uh, columns. And uh, then we can absolutely uh, control in one area have uh, max brightness of 5,000 nits. In another area, we can switch it off. Uh, so uh, all the options, and this is the way how mini LED uh, TVs uh, will evolve. Thank you very much. Thank you.